Welcome to the Datamaster L6 Smart Device App Tutorial. Here's what you can expect to learn through watching this short video. How to navigate this app. Optional app settings. How to create a job and enter data related to each job. F2170reports.com and how it relates to this app. How to create a sitemap and add sensors to it. How to configure Rapid RH accessory devices and view their automated readings. How to generate a PDF report to send to your clients and or yourself. For additional instructions, please consult the Datamaster L6 app instruction sheet. Before you use the app for the first time, it is recommended that you register for an account at f2170reports.com. This account is helpful if you wish to archive, store, or share job information. When the app is opened, you are taken initially to the Total Reader Quick Reading screen where your RH readings will be displayed when you connect the Rapid RH Total Reader with an L6 sensor. You will want to be at this screen when you take readings. In the top right corner, you will see the main menu icon, represented by three horizontal bars. Open the main menu and select App Settings. Here you can move the sliders to select 24-hour time and or metric units if desired. If you have an account on f2170reports.com, Select Account and enter your account details. This will allow you to archive jobs to the cloud for later retrieval on your PC. From the main menu, select Jobs, which brings you to the Open Jobs screen. Select the green plus icon to create a new job so that you will be able to input information about your job site. On the Add Jobs screen, enter information about job name, structure name and address, slab thickness, hole depth, and target RH. All items must be filled out for the Save button to activate. It will change from gray to green. Then you can press Save and proceed to the next screen. You can also select Plus Annotations to add photos, audio memos, or notes to your job. When you save your job, you will go to the Open Jobs screen. Select the job you just created to go to the next screen or select the green plus if you wish to create additional jobs. Once you are at the screen for your job, you will want to create a sitemap for each area or floor. Select the green plus to go to the next screen, where you also have the option to create a PDF report by selecting the Share icon in the lower right corner. On the Add Sensor Map screen, you are able to input the map name. Other values will default to what you entered previously on the Add Job screen. These can be adjusted or changed if needed. To change the default image, select Change Image in the lower left corner, which will then allow you to select either Camera for taking a picture of your site, or Gallery to use an image stored in your photo gallery. After creating your sensor map or maps, select the RH icon in the lower left corner. This returns you to the main Total Reader Quick Reading screen to start reading and recording your RH test data. Take RH readings using the Rapid RH Total Reader and or another Rapid RH accessory device by making contact with the L6 sensor. If using a new RH sensor, you will receive a prompt on your screen to associate this sensor with a location on your job's sensor map. Select Yes, then choose the appropriate job and sensor map for your readings. Next, you will be directed to the Add Location screen so that you can input the location name. The Save button will activate and turn from gray to green after you enter the location name. Pressing the Save button will generate a drop pin at the center of the sensor map, which you can move by holding down and dragging to the area where the sensor is located. Sensors get color-coded as follows. Red, more than 5% above the target RH. Yellow, up to 5% above the target RH. And green, at or below the target RH. If using one or more Rapid RH accessory devices to collect RH data, you can configure the device settings by navigating to the Devices screen by selecting Manage Devices from the main menu. Then select a device within Bluetooth range to configure its settings. A pop-up window will appear on the Total Reader Quick Reading screen if detecting an installed accessory device for the first time. Click on the pop-up to be taken to the Manage Devices screen to see all devices within Bluetooth range. To generate a PDF report that you can send to a client and to yourself, which is always recommended, select the main menu in the upper right corner, 
Then select Jobs and press the specific job for which you want to generate the report. Now select the Share icon in the lower right corner. You will now see a screen where you can enter the report settings, including the name, title, affiliation, and address of testing person. When done, press Save. This will generate a PDF report. Once the report has been generated, press the envelope icon in the upper right corner. This will transfer you to the email screen with the PDF attachment ready to be emailed. For Android devices, select the three dots, top right corner, to email the PDF report. For iOS devices, select the Share icon that looks like an arrow to email the report. This concludes the DataMaster L6 app tutorial. Thank you for watching. You may submit comments or questions by visiting www.wagnermeters.com/support.